All right, guys, let's go over some of the knives that I have shown on my page over the last couple of months. So here's them all together as a collection on my table. And all of these I have given an individual review of within the last three to four months. And let's go over them real quick and uh, show you what we have here. So these are three buck knives, three stilettos. This is a miscellaneous. Right here is a beautiful looking Rough Rider doctor's knife. Victorinox that I absolutely love. The inexpensive Ozark Tro from Walmart. And then this is, um, I bought this at the checkout at uh, the Bass Pro Shop Cabela's. All right, so. And then for the life of me, this came with a Smith & Wesson knife. Military Police Edition. I can't find a knife. Put a lanyard on this. This is a can opener and a multi-function tool. Pretty cool. <laughs> Buck knife. This is a perfect pocket knife. I love that this is a cleaver knife. Perfect for opening packages, that's for sure. Um, sometimes I pocket carry this. It has a uh, like a pocket clip that is remove very easy to remove, as you can see. But um, I like it on this one. Yep, there we go. Buck. Let's go to the next one. This is the Buck Bentham with double thumb studs. Put a little lanyard on it. Perfect for in the pocket. It doesn't weigh much at all. Let's see if you can see it here. And of course the budget version of the Buck 110. This is the Buck 110 Lite must have in the collection. I've had a few Buck 110s. The last one that I had for years was the 50th anniversary edition that I beat the shit, but um, I ended up trading it for something else. I wish I still had it though. And I had another holiday edition, but this one is this one is great. I mean, you got the for a fraction of the price because it is, you know, polymer. You still get the same amazing blade that comes on it and um, that's an amazing knife it really is this is like a free gift from the NRA I put this um, brass bead lanyard um, brass bead on it but yeah here National Rifle Association it's just a free cheap Pakistan knife um, I love this one. This is a doctor's knife with a halfway stop on it. That's the knife. And here is the medical spatula. So these knives were popular with doctors about a hundred years ago. All right, here we go, Victorinox. This is the classic. The difference between the classic and the rally, that this is the rally right here where it has this tiny little screwdriver that has been coming in handy for a lot of little things. Like for example, let me see if I can find it here. Like a jewelry loop that I have here that sometimes gets really, really loose. Um, yeah, this is just a great little thing to have around the house. So that's the rally. And then, let me show you this one first. The Warthog. This is the Hiker. And it is the Hiker because it has the saw and the screwdriver instead of the bottle opener. This is, I just bought this because it looked good. That's why I bought this. Um, this is the Explorer. There we go. With the loop. Now this here is the Huntsman. This one I always have on me. This one is always in my pocket. 
And as you can see, I put the screwdriver on there. Now with this one, <clears throat> the Explorer, I changed the, I have the, I put the red one in here and I changed the toothpick and the tweezers for the red ones as well. I think that just makes it look good. This is my Swiss champ. Beefy, but not too bulky. Easy to carry. I use this all the time. And as you can see, they all have lanyards on them. I took this off. I even took their little ring off because it was just, it just doesn't work for me on this particular knife. But it has all the functions that you have on the Explorer, um, on the Hiker, and on the, or actually on the Explorer, on the Hiker, and on the, um, the Huntsman. And then this one also has the fish scaler. Let's see if we can find it, which is right here. And this also, if you want to poke things or use it as a little fork, you can. All right. Let's move this aside for a bit, for a second. There we go. This one was a couple of dollars at Walmart. <laughs> Makes a good backup knife, not the sharpest, but does the job. If you lose it, not a big deal. This is the Ozark Trail. That came with a fire starter. And, uh... Yeah, it's cool. That's the lanyard on it, on the lanyard around the <clears throat> the grip. It, this one was about nine or ten dollars. This I don't even want to talk about this. This is this thing is so bad it keeps getting loose and it's just. I mean the blades are sharp, but it was like four bucks or three bucks at the checkout. Anyway, this one, like I said, I can't fucking find the. The knife that came with this thing, or the, this came with the knife, but I don't know where it is. And here we go, the stiletto. Those are just so much fun, and they're really more collectible than anything else, because they are quite useless unless you use them as a letter opener. But, um, yeah, those are just fun, fun little knives. Let me, let's see, let's do this again. KC and this one actually has stiletto written on the blade but yeah they're they're just fun originally designed and 500 years ago 600 years ago in Italy as a assassination tool but now they're just collectible made famous in Hollywood by you know by having all the kid gangs use these knives in movies from the 50s and 60s and the clockwork orange and stuff Anyway, these are just the cool little knives. When it comes to the more practical ones that I use constantly, and I gotta go with this one right here will be the winner with the Huntsman. These two for everyday use. And then these two black knives go with me all the time as well. Anyway, this is just an update. If you like this video, um, Please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, I will do more videos, I will have more uh, knives that I will show you too. But if you want to see the individual reviews on these things that were unboxings, then um, they are all on my channel, so go ahead and check it out. And um, here we go, this is just a beautiful, beautiful knife, I think this one costs like 15 bucks. And this is the doctor knife, here we go, here's the spatula, which is great for stirring your coffee if that's what you want to do with it all right <laughs> anyway you all have a wonderful rest of the day cheers